Oftentimes, the last trading day of the quarter can add some extra flair to commodities markets and for the grain markets. It may resonate more with the release of the quarterly stocks report from the USDA. Today's report showed old crop corn stocks at 1.36 billion bushels, down 1% from last year. However, grain stocks on farm reported at 605 million bushels. That was up 19% from last year and the highest percentage of on-farm stocks versus all stocks since 2004. Now, old crop soybean stocks were reported at 268 million bushels. That was down 2% from last year. Soybeans stored on farms, that came in at 72 million bushels, up 14% from last year. All wheat stocks came in at 1.78 billion bushels. That was just up slightly from last year. Now, the market responded negatively at today's data, which took prices for corn, soybeans, and wheat to their lowest levels in quite some time. At the close, December corn futures were 11 and 3 quarter cents lower to settle at 476 and 3 quarters. That was just a couple of cents lower on the month. However, November soybeans, they finished the day 25 and a half cents lower, settling at 1275. And that is the lowest close since June 29th, putting the contract 93 and 3 quarter cents lower for the month. December Chicago wheat futures finished the session 33 and a quarter cents lower to settle at 540 and a half, which was a new contract low and put the contract 38 and a quarter cents lower for the month.